Hi guys, my name is Raz with AutoDS and in today's video we'll be explaining the active listings page. To get started, please go to the left side menu bar and click on the active listings tab. Once you're on this page here, you'll be able to see all of the items that are currently live and being monitored by AutoDS on your store. Now the active listings page is very important for the day-to-day -day management of your store, so let's have a closer look at everything together. Here we can see the number of items we're looking at per page. If I'd like to locate a specific item, I can always enter the item's source ID or cell ID directly in the search bar on the upper right side of the screen. You can of course use the title or any other keyword that you would like. Here you can see the system is showing us one entry filtered out of 78 total listings we currently have on our active listings. Once you've located the item that you'd like, you can click on the short edit icon next to the item. This will show you additional listing information. Here you can see and edit the break even and profit settings and further down we have additional item information and editing options. You can of course end the listing, remove it from monitoring and go directly to full item edit. Of course a separate video explaining short item edit and other actions from your active listings page is available on our help center on autodesk.com. Next I'll click on the columns customize option. Here I can set what data columns I'd like to see on my active listings page. Let's add the variation ID and the item supplier. Here you can see the eBay cell ID. This is the actual number for this listing on your eBay store. Right next to it we'll have the source ID. This is the item ID from the supplier site. In this case we can see the supplier is Amazon as the item ID is an ASIN, an Amazon Standard Identification Number. Here we have the main picture for our listing. If you'll click on the picture this will open up full item edit page on a new separate tab, leaving the active listings tab open in case you'll need it for later use. Here we have the title for this listing. Here you have the quantity for your listing on eBay the current sell price for the listing and the current source price from the supplier site as it was taken on AutoDS's last scan. If we scroll further to the right, here we can see the number of times we've sold this listing. Here we have the number of views this listing has on eBay, the number of watchers and the final estimated profit. Now of course this profit calculation is based on your profit and break even settings for the item. Here we can see the upload date for this listing. If I'll click on the top of the column here, I can change the order of display to show me oldest listings on top or newest listings on top. You can of course click on any of the other icons to change the order of appearance showing you high to low or low to high. Under days left you can see the number of days remaining before this listing is renewed. Of course AutoDS supports good till cancelled listings which are renewed every 30 days. If this item was uploaded within the last 24 hours you'll see 100 written here but within the next day this will change to 29 days remaining. Under OOS days you can see the number of days this item has been out of stock on your store. Please note this is an accumulative number meaning if I had this item for 6 months on my store and each month it was only one day out of stock I would see 6 OOS days as that is the number of days it has been out of stock since it was uploaded to my store. The DWS column will show you days without sale, meaning the number of days that have passed since this item's last sale. Of course the setting will reset to zero once an order is made. Here we can see the variation ID for this specific variation the tag if you've assigned the tag to your listing, the supplier for your item and of course the status showing you in stock or out of stock. If I'll click on status at the top of the column, 
I'll be able to see in stock items on top and if I'll click on it again I'll be able to see out of stock items on top whenever you have an out of stock item you can always click on the show reason button here you can see that your listing has become out of stock on the eBay store and the reason is that the item is out of stock on the supplier site if you're not sure what is the reason for your item being out of stock click on the yellow button right next to the item now let's see what else we can do on the top of the page here you have some additional actions bulk change will allow you to select one or more of your items and perform bulk change on all of them in a single action we can of course use this to change profit break even settings templates policies and anything else relating to your listing change titles is here to allow us to optimize your titles effectively you'll be able again to mark one or more of your listings and optimize the titles without needing to go to full item edit for each one of these items the filter option will allow you to set what items you currently want to see on your active listings we can filter our items to show us specific suppliers out of stock or in stock items only items with sales or items between a specific upload date range if you have a big store with a lot of items filtering your active listings and then performing bulk change on the filtered items is a very useful method of work for the day-to-day -day management of your eBay store here we have our columns customize option which will control the display of columns on the active listings page as we've seen earlier in the video and lastly the sync with eBay button the sync with eBay button is useful in case you have listings that have been ended directly on eBay meaning this has not yet been updated on AutoDS please note that when you make an action through AutoDS it will reflect on AutoDS and eBay together however when you make an action on eBay directly AutoDS will need to read this data to hasten the process up you can click on the sync with eBay button right here additional video guides explaining all of these actions in further detail are available on our help center on AutoDS.com I hope you have enjoyed this quick tutorial about your active listings page thank you so much for watching and have a wonderful day